Okay, riders, welcome to Friday. I hope you have, have had a good week. We've gotten lots of work done. Um, want to start today, we are about ready to draft, and I wanted to start by returning to our literary devices. Just So as we're writing, we can um, remember we need all this stuff in, or a lot of it. You need the literary device all over it. So I've moved the literary devices um, ladder from the poetry wall over by the dance. Um, if you'll, you'll be able to see it over there. But let's review it real quickly. So imagery, words that create a picture in your mind. You remember we did the song, um, What a Wonderful World, and Trees of Green, Red Roses. You have got to really, really stretch out your words and describe in detail. And that's your descriptive details, that imagery. Describe in detail in your writing. Next thing, alliteration. Throw some alliteration in there. Some repetition for emphasis. Throw some repetition in there. Comparisons we've talked about. Personification. Throw that in there. Hyperbole. Exaggeration. Throw that in there. That's also a good thing to do. So keep this in mind. You can use the wall. You don't always have to get your poetry notebook out. But now I've got my eye chart ready. I've done my D-A-N-C-E ideas to get that on there. This E, I think I'm going to use with the change of colors, all the different, for example, all the different um, M&Ms. And now I'm ready to write. So I have my notebook and I have it behind my writing in process. I'm going to lay my eye chart over to the left. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to start writing my um, paper. And I'm going to use pencil. I think it will show because I need. I always need to use pencil. Remember this. I'm. Um, this is. To, I'm just going to put thing essay. I'll come up with a title later. Mm, it's peanut M and M's. You know the M and M's. And then I need to start writing my um, paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to skip a line. I'm going to indent. Now indenting on our big peak on our one final copy paper. We want to make it really short, really small. So some of you have been doing two fingers. Let's just do one. And then just a little bit. And then I'm just going to go ahead and think, okay, there's nothing that makes me happier than a handful of M&Ms. That's not quite long enough of an introduction. So let me pause this and I'm going to think through um, a bit longer introduction and then I'm going to write it and then I'm going to pull it up and tell you about it. Okay, so I've got my introduction written, and I've added to it, and I decided I was going to take one of my amazing facts and insert it in here. So I started the same as I did on my eye chart. I really want to encourage y'all to use this if you need to, but stretch out and try to find a different way to introduce your essay than just using mine. But there's nothing that makes me happier than a handful of peanut M&Ms. I am sure I'm not alone. Millions of these delectable bites are consumed by M&M lovers every day. There's my introduction. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to write this paragraph. And I'm not just going to list it, I'm going to craft it. So I, I'll go ahead and use to start with. I may go back and change that later. But I'm going to indent again one little bit to start with. Peanut M&M's. Okay, I'm going to pause it so we can save some time. Okay, because I'm following the golden rule of writing, I am thinking, then I'm writing, then I'm rereading it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to read. I'm not going to reread my um, introduction because I'm just going to read what I've written to the point where I stopped, uh, from the point that I stopped the video. So now to start with, peanut M&Ms have the perfect combination. These sweet and savory morsels have an irresistible, crunchy shell on the outside that is sweet as pure sugar when it hits my tongue. So I've got sweet and savory going here, and I decided to jump down to this bullet and start right pulling that in there to support this sweet. So the crunchy shell on the outside that is sweet as pure sugar, so a comparison, when it hits my tongue. As I bite into it, the savory peanut mixes into chocolatey goodness that is hard to match. All right, so now I've read. Now I've got to think about it. All right, what's going to be next? Now I think I'm going to go ahead and take care of taking care of chocolatey goodness, 
taking care of the crunchy shell, sweet and savory. Now I want to talk about the change of colors. So I'm going to pause it and write that part. Okay, now here's the next part. I just ended with chocolatey goodness that is hard to match. And then I wrote this part about the change of colors. Every holiday, the M&M factory makes colorful selections to match the season. At Christmas time, I love to put a bowl of red and green ones on my counter for my guests to enjoy. I think I might even go in here and insert. I need some information about the different holidays. So I'm, I think I might go ahead and write something about Easter and Valentine's Day. So let me pause and write that. Okay, let's look at this. I changed a little bit. Yeah, I was going to add this in, so I put this, and you may not can see that real well because of the lighting. Let me lift it up. At Easter time, I see post paste, pastel pink, blue, and yellow options. Valentine's Day has red, pink, and white, of course, but my favorite is Christmas time. I love to put a bowl of red and green ones on my counter for my guests to enjoy. Now I'm going to go into my next paragraph. So I have another reason. So I'm going to pause again and start that another reason paragraph. Okay, so now it's time to read a think right read. It's time to read what I wrote. So I'm going to go here to this beginning of this paragraph. Another reason peanut M&Ms are number one in my book is they never disappoint me. They are the perfect snack to eat in the car while on a long road trip. My husband and I like to share the king size bag. The best thing ever on a stress-filled day is a bag of peanut M&Ms. These tiny oval drops are like a bit of heavenly heaven sitting on my tongue. To top it off, drinking a fizzy Diet Coke while crunching on peanut M&Ms will make all that stress fall away. Crispy, crunchy, chocolatey peanut M&Ms are sure to put a smile on my face. What little morsel of goodness does that for you? Okay, so I wrote my whole paper there. Skipped lines. I've got everything ready. And this is a draft. Remember, this is my rough, meaning it's not polished. It's not perfect. My rough draft. All right, what I want you to do today is write your rough draft. Don't hesitate to go back to the video and scroll through and look at parts of my writing to see if you if there's anything there that can help you. But we are writing long and strong. And if you'll notice, everything I had, all these bullets, I wrote long and strong about it. That's my idea. And then I wrote about it. Let's look over here at perfect car, perfect in the car. They are the perfect snack to eat in the car. I added while on a long road trip. Then I also added my husband and I like to share the king size bag. So I didn't just put perfect in the car. I stretched it out. And then stress relief. I did the same thing. The best thing ever on a stress filled day is a bag of peanut M&Ms. These tiny oval drops are like a bit of heaven sitting on my tongue. To top it off, drinking a fuzzy Diet Coke while crunching on peanut M&Ms will make all that stress fall away. All right, happy drafting. I'm excited to see these great essays.